Hello, brothers and sisters, this is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest word given to Ali Winters. The title is Dumbing Down of American Christianity is on the Rise, and this word was posted on August 29th of 2019. The dumbing down of American Christianity is on the rise. The eyes of the ten have been opened, yet only one returns to give glory, honor, and praise to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The church filled with carnality, sin, and perversion continues to feed the wolves while ignoring the starving sheep within their fold. The message, a watered-down substitute for the truth, is delivered each week by false shepherds whose idea of success is the size of their congregation, their building programs, and the converts who have asked Jesus into their heart. If anyone advocates a different doctrine and does not agree with sound words, those of our Lord Jesus Christ, and with the doctrine conforming to godliness, he is conceited and understands nothing. The holy word of our holy God has spoken clearly. Come out from them and be ye separate, says the Lord, for you have spent enough time in the past doing what pagans choose to do, living in debauchery, lust, drunkenness, orgies, carousing and detestable idolatry. The end of all things is near, therefore be alert and sober-minded, for it is time for judgment to begin with God's household, and if it begins with us, what will the outcome be for those who do not obey the gospel of God? Man-made theologies have robbed God of his glory, his people of truth and the world of a gospel preached unto salvation. The world, the flesh, and the devil have invaded the church, men ignoring what Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Preach heresy at the expense of souls lost. All the while hell enlarges itself to receive those who know not the way, the truth, and certainly not the life. For as I have often told you before, and now say again, even with tears, Paul speaking to the Philippians, many lives are enemies of the cross, of Christ. Their end is destruction. Their God is their belly, self, and their glory is their shame. Their minds are set on earthly things. Yet for those of us who have not been dumbed down, who have not been spoon-fed half-truths, fed pablum or poisoned by dissenters passing themselves as disciples, our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await our Savior and our Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is the end of the message. I just would like to say God bless each and every one of you. I pray you all will have a beautiful day in the Lord. And if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please call on him today. Ask him into your heart. Have a relationship with him. Repent of your sins. Ask him to forgive you of all of your sins. And from that moment on, anytime his Holy Spirit convicts you of any wrongdoing, just humble yourself and go right before him and just ask him to forgive you of those things that you're doing. Jesus loves us so very much, everyone, more than we ever can fathom and understand. So please call on, on him today if you feel that call on your heart. Answer his call. God bless you all, and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.